Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is the attack on America, September the 11th, 2001. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the attack on America, as well as uh, another topic later on, uh, Alana McLaughlin. And of course, uh, Alana will give us some information in reference to uh, her background, uh, in additional information. And uh, Lana, let's start off by uh, talking to you and finding out, uh, as we uh, observe this new set that we have here today, uh, finding out some information about you, your background, your education, and some of your experiences. And uh, simply to say up front that uh, the uh, topic, the attack on America, September the 11th, uh, 2001, is entirely your idea. And, and, and I want uh, our audience to understand that uh, you have uh, been with us on a number of occasions and you've given us some excellent information. But as I felt in reference to some of the earlier uh, shows that we did, I really did not believe that you had the kind of information that might be available for my audience this morning. And so we're taking a great shot and a great chance with you this morning. But let's start off, Lana, by having you to give us some information about your background, your education, and your experiences, and then get into uh, September the 11th, 2001, the attack on America. Well, the first school I ever went to was called Napier Elementary, which I went there for pre-K, and I had the teacher, Mr. Downey. My second school was called Alex Green Elementary, where I had teachers Jennifer Berry for first grade, and for kindergarten, I had Mrs. Brown. Let's see. Second grade, I went to Glen Head Option Elementary, where I had teacher Trudy Vest, and I also went there for third grade, which I had Wendy Anderson. Now, I am cur currently in fourth grade, and the school I go to now is called Robert Churchill Museum Magnet Elementary School, located on D.B. Todd Boulevard, where the old Wharton School used to be. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, I, my parents are named Cheryl Haney and Michael McLaughlin Haney, with grandparents Dr. James Haney mm -hmm. and Mildred Haney. Mm -hmm. I have multiple siblings, and I also tutor kids, as in for reading and sometimes math. I, li I like to be a good scout, and I love to help people. And I also started a campaign called the Anti-Bullying Campaign. That we're going to talk about later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That it basically says that you need to get those bullies to somewhere else because they slow us down from our learning, and it's, it's not necessary, is it? It's All not necessary. right. Very good. And of course, uh, Lana, let, let's start off this uh, uh, show by having you to give us some information about uh, September the 11th, 2001, the attack on America. Yeah. Talk about that. And what was that all about anyway? Oh, that Treasure's Day. Um, on September the 11th, 2001, terrorists hijacked two twin planes from the Logan Boston Airport where they crashed into the twin towers of the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Now, it was more complex than anybody could ever think because it took mind skills, it took brain games, it took numbers, it, money. It took, it, it's putting your life on the line is what those terrorists did. Okay, so let's see. As a group of men walked into the airport, they went through the checkout, but then an airline woman assured the person that they were all clean to go. So they went onto the plane and <laughs> they went onto the plane and they they got on there and then not even not even five seconds after takeoff when they were not even on the air, the people came in with knives and guns and they shot the people they shot the people that were directing the plane, which means they could hijack it. So they all got on there, and then five seconds later, the news got a hold of it. So they were broadcasting it. Not even five minutes later, later another plane from the air from that Logan Airport got hijacked by the same group of Al Qaeda terrorists. And then, as they were they were supposed to be going to Pennsylvania, but 
when they were hijacked, all the people, they, they brought out the phone, they brought out the cameras, they recorded the moment, and they called their loved ones to tell them that this may be the last time they would ever see them. So after, like, after an hour of being held, held, just, after being held for ransom, or probably. Okay, let's, let's take this first uh, commercial break, and then uh, we're going we're gonna to come back, and we're going to pick up on that. And certainly we like the drama in reference to it, but I want you to sort of move it on and, and explain it to us. And, of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. segment of the show for today, 